Guitar time. I'm Robert Knoll, and we're doing more with arpeggio and the alternating finger picking. We're dealing with the right hand, okay? So once again, relaxed right hand, we set it down. Now we've done the top four strings, we've done the middle four strings. We were dealing with a, a D, D chord where we added the baby finger, gave us a D sus back to a D chord, and then we took the second finger off, and that gave us a D9 chord. So we are going back and four. Notice I'm plucking. It's kind of a good thing to learn to do. And then the A minor, we did the, the finger pickings and the arpeggios on the A minor, A sus, back to A minor, and then an A minor nine back to A minor so what I want to go over today is if we took the next four strings what if we did the last four strings of a G chord if I had G and B I could still have my finger on the the anchor down here on the high G or if I play it this way it's fine too kind of like this way though three two open 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 four there's our G chord but we're gonna deal with just the last four strings. So what if we did the arpeggio with G, B, D, G? And let's switch to a chord. Let's switch to E minor. So here we're doing E, B, E, and G open. So that G is open, G is open. So I want to get good at my forward arpeggio on the four bass strings, the four lower strings. Then I might go um, the reverse. Starting with A, M, I, A, M, I, thumb, A, M, I, T, A, M, I, T, A. A M I T. Okay, then we could also do our forwards backwards, right? We could do, we could even start on the E minor this time, go thumb, I M A M I thumb. right hand plucking it's another really great technique to be able to pluck the low four strings pluck the middle four and then I'll go to maybe instead of a D chord I'll go to D minor add the sus with the G G minor and then an open E in the D minor So these are good techniques to build up. So we're really getting to move this around so that you get to feel the top three strings, the middle four, or sorry, the top four strings, the middle four strings, and the lower four strings. And you should be <clears throat> getting really consistent to where you can do these exercises at longer lengths. You know, to be able to do an arpeggio for a minute, say, or half a minute without making a mistake, without goofing it up or getting off the pattern, or some something happening, something negative. You want to be consistent. You want to be able to keep that pattern nicely at that speed before you go to the next speed. And then you get to three minutes, and you get to five minutes. Man, you might even get to ten minutes of doing a pattern or an exercise without goofing up. You're starting to get good. And you can start to hear that we're starting to sound kind of like songs. As well. Great. So practice as much as you can 
and be consistent. We're working for consistency.